Well, Sandra Day O'Connor is an Arizona icon and an American treasure. The first female to sit on the United States Supreme Court, appointed by Ronald Reagan. But even more than that, it's her life and, and upbringing in the Southwest. It's the civility that she brought to public life and, and the arena in which she participated. And it's the legacy that, that she will leave us all, as we will be proud of her as an as a icon in the pantheon of greats in Arizona and someone that we've all been graced by her humility and civility along the way. Um, unbelievable woman, uh, just strong and um, independent and determined. Such a wonderful example of the Arizona cowboy <laughs> attitude that we have this independent attitude. Uh, that Arizonans and Sonoran Desert dwellers uh, carry forward. I grew up hearing of Sandra Day O'Connor, and so uh, she was such a trailblazer, opening doors for so many other women in politics and in law um, and in service to our country and our state. I remember 40 years ago, I was in high school, I think I was a junior or senior in high school when President Reagan nominated her to the Supreme Court. I remember that being a very big deal that day and a, and a very uh, a, a very good move in the right direction for our country. And I want to see more of that. I just had a granddaughter born uh, a month ago tomorrow. She'll be one month old or she'll be four weeks old tomorrow. And just to see more opportunities uh, for women um, to be able to go into any field uh, at any time is so important for the future of our country.